My latest video was walking through eight potential trade targets for the Seattle Mariners at this year's upcoming trade deadline. Today, I'm doubling down on one player in specific and stating that if the Mariners go out and acquire Angels utility infielder Luis Renjifo, every other acquisition on top would be icing on the cake. And here is why. The Mariners' most glaring issue so far this year is on the offensive side of the ball and specifically their strikeout rate. All throughout the lineup, there's a ton of guys that have a lot of swing and miss in their profile, a lot of potential power. The only real contact guys and the guys that are working at bats right now are JP Crawford, Josh Rojas, Mitch Garver does walk a lot, but he is striking out and missing a lot. There are some solid power hitters that will be on the trade market this year, likely in Vlad Guerrero Jr., Pete Alonso, Paul Goldschmidt. But in my opinion, the Mariners don't need more power. They need someone that is consistently making contact with the ball, getting on base, and that is switch hitter Luis Renjifo. Luis Renjifo so far this year is batting 311 with a 358 on base percentage, a 430 slug, which is a 787 OPS. He has a 123 OPS plus, meaning that overall at the plate, he's been about 23% better than the average league hitter. His strikeout rate so far this year is in the 92nd percentile in all of baseball at a 13.9% strikeout rate. If the Mariners were to acquire Luis Renjifo, he would immediately be leading the team in batting average, on base percentage, slug, OPS, stolen bases, and he would also have the best strikeout rate on the team. His baseball savant page is a full of the color that you don't like to see, which is blue, but that's because his profile is very different than a lot of guys. His strength isn't hitting the ball super hard. His strength isn't bat speed, average exit velo, barrel percentage, hard hit percentage launch angle sweet spots percentage. His strengths are working the count, putting the ball in play, and when you put the ball in play, good things happen. So far this year, he does have a 350 batting average on balls in play, which is set to regress at some point. He is currently arbitration eligible, so he has this year and the next year under club control. Next year would be an arbitration year. After that, he would become a free agent. Looking at his platoon split so far this year versus right-handed pitching, so as a left-handed hitter, he has 162 plate appearances, a 282 batting average, 335 on base percentage, 718 OPS. And versus left handed pitching, so as a right handed hitter, he has 46 plate appearances on the year, a 409 batting average, a 435 on base percentage, a 1.026 OPS. So far this year, he's played 21 games at second base, 27 games at third base, one game at shortstop. He hasn't played in the outfield so far this year, but in years prior, he has. So the Mariners could always throw him out in the outfield if they just need to find a way to put him in the lineup. Luis Renjifo has been batting second for the Angels so far this year, and he should be batting second for the Seattle Mariners. Left-handed hitting J.B. Crawford to lead off, switch hitting Luis Renjifo second, Julio Rodriguez, who is batting third today in the lineup, would be batting third. Then you go down the line with Cal Raleigh, Mitch Garver, Luke Rayleigh, and so forth. There is a lot of potential on the trade market this year. All those names that I mentioned earlier, including Luis Robert Jr., Brent Rooker, other guys. But I think Luis Renjifo makes the most sense for what the Mariners are really needing. But with the cost that it would take to acquire him compared to these other guys, go make that move tomorrow and then see where you're at in a couple weeks. Talk through some of those trade negotiations and then maybe you can get one of those other guys too. With Jorge Polanco's injury history, including his current injury, his production at the plate so far this year, I think the Mariners might be cutting ties with him sooner than later. In one of these upcoming trades, I wouldn't be surprised if the Mariners were to add in a big leaguer with one to a couple years of control left on their contract to help reduce the cost of prospects that it would cost to acquire the, these guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Should the Mariners go get Luis Arnjifo? If not, who should they target at the trade deadline? Otherwise, to learn more about some of the other Mariners trade targets, go check out this video right here. 